BPG, JMO here. Check this out. We're doing more SKU stuff. SKU, the add-on for the visually impaired and blind to be able to play World of Warcraft. This uh, piece of software is pretty incredible and I've been learning it, so I'm still an absolute beginner at using it, but I want to be kind of showing you through the journey I'm going through and learning it. I've gone through a lot of the menus and I've got a lot of things figured out. Oh, 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 I'm that's in the not fire. Quite the learning curve. Now, I can use it to help me know what's going on in combat. So what we're going to do is set a waypoint or actually a quest point. Use the heartbeats and I'll describe that a little bit as we're going on how to get there and we'll get in combat on the way. Wanted to remind everybody, I have about 3% vision. So I'm a hybrid user of this software. I can see point and click some of the things that you see blown up big, but not a lot and not very often. One request plus two quest start three quest target plus one route plus. One, 230 meter north skeletal fiend menu closed. A little heartbeat is our beacon indicator. If you haven't seen any of our other videos, you turn until you hear a beep. Right there. And the heartbeat gets faster. And you run that direction until you get to that particular beacon. It will tell you that you got there and how many beacons are left. And then you go to the next one. There are volunteers that went through this game and routed all the best routes for the different quests and different locations. You can go to different people or different vendors. Anything that is named in the game, you can set a route to through this piece of software. It's very cool. So let's see if we can't get into some combat, though. That's what we're here for. Still seven, four. Sometimes it takes you longer routes than a sighted person would know to go. That is because Still four. Um, it's taking you on a safe route or as safe as possible. And so sometimes it, it sends you weird loopy ways and it makes sense as to why it has to happen, but it does happen. That means there's a close route here. So just a little different sounding beacon to give you a heads up on what that means. Doesn't Step really affect three. anything we're doing right now. Now it's gonna start telling me what's around us Step once we two. get within range. Still one, skeletal fiend level 24. See how it said that? That means I'm looking at a skeletal feed. As I turn around, it will tell me what's around me. That... Skeletal fiend level 24. Skeletal 30. Fiend level 24. Okay, here we go. I'm going to let Nine, this play 16, out, and then 15, you... 15. Actually, somebody else attacked that one, so we'll get a different one. Here we 30. go. Combat start. 20. 9. 9. 50. That spell isn't ready 40. yet. I can't cast that yet. 30. 20. 10. Dead skeletal horror. Combat. End. Okay. Now, there are a whole bunch of numbers being thrown out there, but they actually make sense skeletal and you get used to Blue what they're up. telling you. You're hearing a voice counting down from 90 all the way down to zero. And that's what the mob's um. health is. You hear a girl's voice telling us what my particular health is nine through one so i only pay attention nine through one is me 90 80 70 is the mob 35 30 combat start 90, 20 80 five nine 60 that's still recharging 50 that spell isn't ready yet 40 40's 50. him 30 20 20. Still recharging. Seven. Seven is the, I'm at seventy percent. So that's how you listen to it. What's really cool about this too is a soft targeting. If there's a chest near you or a a mining node or a herb or whatever, it tells you. It tells you anything that's in your area that you can actually interact with. I don't need to be looking at the bars going down. I'm listening to the numbers. I'm not looking at much at all, to be honest with you. I'm just kind of paying attention audibly what's going on, but I can kind of see some things. And if I had to click, I kind of know the general shapes of things that are on the different bars to, to throw at it. But most of my stuff is all hotkeys. I don't even have my hand on the mouse. When I'm fighting these things, for the most part, I'll switch over to it if I absolutely Skeletal have to. Skeletal horror level 20. Skeletal horror level 24. Skeletal 20. horror level tw combat start. 5. 9. 7, 60. 50. 40. I can't cast that yet. 30. That spell isn't ready yet. I can't cast that 20. yet. Get Skeletal horror. Combat end. Hey, one out of eight, finally. Another thing to keep in mind is that I'm not clicking on 
the body afterwards in order to loot it. I'm hitting a hotkey here that automatically bends over and picks it up so I don't have to be searching for it with my mouse because most blind people don't even use a mouse. I happen to because I have a little bit of vision left. Dad, 28. Hey. Grave robber, level 24. It automatically ran over and picked that up. The guy voice is telling me it's getting closer and closer and closer. Combat, star, 90, 20, 80, 75, 9. That was the skeleton running at me. It'll tell me if I'm out of the wrong, 40. facing the wrong way, too. Look, I'll do this. Direction. 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 Five. Tells me if I'm facing the wrong direction, so I want to always make sure I'm facing my target. Now, once I get below 30, she starts saying 333222111 super fast. That is something that's really good, especially for raids, where I don't need to be listening to my number until I hear her saying it over and over and over again, saying like, uh, you better start paying attention. You also have the option to have mana or rage or any of those things, uh, your powers be broadcast to you. I had that turned off. I need to get closer. 35. That beeping sound means I'm stuck on something. I have no idea what just happened there. Wow. 